absolutely vital uh, to Ukraine, but there are big hurdles for Biden in Congress. Yeah, absolutely. Um, basically, what we're hearing from our sources is lawmakers, they want to be able to pass a package that includes aid for Israel as well as Ukraine. Um, and here's why it is so tricky. Uh, Republicans really want to insert immigration into all of this. So there was a working group last week that came out with some specific framework that would include um, basically that Biden would need to include continue to build uh, former President Trump's wall, as well as changing some of the asylum laws. So that makes this all very tricky. And then on top of all of this, you have House Republicans who really do not want to fund Ukraine. They want to do this separately. So you have Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, who wants to advance this two prong solution uh, with Ukraine, Israel. Um, and then you also have the House of Representatives um, and the new speaker there that just recently passed aid to Israel separately. Um, and we've seen how complicated it is. Uh, former you know, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy had such a hard time wrangling his conference. Um, and there isn't any imminent funding deadline, as we've seen in recent weeks. Um, you know, as we saw before the break, lawmakers were able to fund the government just a couple of weeks um, into January. So, Basically, the goal right now is lawmakers really want to be able to do this before the end of the year. Uh, the big question is, are they actually going to be able to do this? Uh, you mentioned um, the Middle East there. Just wanting to get the U.S. perspective really on this hostage deal, because I know there were Democrats calling for a ceasefire. Biden's going to deliver them, by all accounts, a truce. Uh, is that going to ease tensions within the Democrats? I think it could temporarily ease those tensions. Um, when you look at the picture overall, it's really only one-sixth of those lawmakers uh, who are Democrats who are calling for a ceasefire. And the majority of those members are in the Progressive Caucus. So, you know, when you look at the numbers overall, it isn't a big number. Specifically, when you look at the Senate, it is really only two members of the Senate out of you know, 100 senators out of all the Democrats. But I do think that those calls are not going to end with this deal. Um, you're going to continue to hear it from those progressive lawmakers who believe that this should, you know, there should be a ceasefire. But at the end of the day, you know, this certainly is something that a lot of lawmakers are happy about. They want to see more of these hostages released. They want to see, you know, some kind of end in the fighting. Uh, the big question is, for how long will these tensions be eased? Yeah, absolutely. So many questions. Samantha uh, Jaroth of the Washington Examiner, really appreciate you getting up early for us today. Uh, coming up on CNN...